Welcome back now to WKYT for a chilly small room. Some people use space heaters for warmth. Jerry Coy with Bait Security is here to tell us how to operate them safely. And that is the uh, emphasis here. We yeah. need to make sure that we're doing it the right way. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you for having me. You talk about something you call a three feet rule. Yes. What do we mean? Yes. Um, <clears throat> A lot of people do use space heaters as supplemental heat. Uh, matter of fact, we even use them, some of the people use them in our office. Uh, what is really important though is to make sure that that space heater is not within a minimum of three feet of anything that might be combustible, such as uh, clothes, mm -hmm. bedding, uh, furniture, anything of that nature. Front or back? Front or yeah. back, yeah. Three, minimum three feet. Yeah. All right, that's a, a good rule. What about, what are some other things you can do? Uh, the big thing about space heaters is the fact that you need to make them as safe as possible. Uh, you need to make sure that the cord is not frayed in any way, shape, or form. If it mm -hmm. is, you need to remove it from your home immediately. You need to make sure that it's not plugged in with an extension cord or uh, to an electrical outlet that has another uh, appliance or something like that uh, plugged into it, it does not need to be plugged into a power strip as well. Do you think generally, uh, if you follow the directions, you keep it in good working order, uh, that they're generally safe, uh, you know, as designed, it's just that people oftentimes let them get out of repair. And and that's it as well. The, the other big thing that people do is they tend to leave them unattended, and that is a definite no-no. Uh, you know, clearly when you leave your home, you should not leave them on. Uh, even if you're going to take a bath or a shower, they should be turned off. So really part of this is just taking the time physically to inspect the cord and to, you know, and to check the, the coordinates around it, make sure that it's not too close to anything, is just to put that little bit of time in and it can make a big difference. That is, that is absolutely correct. Another uh, good thing to do is if you are going to purchase one, uh, make sure that they have all of the new safety features where they have automatic shutoff, where they will not tip over. Uh, again, uh, there are some space heaters that are clearly that we use today that are very safe uh, and can be used on a frigid day like today. Yeah. All right, and uh, so many people are, and we do appreciate the good uh, information about that. It's just some uh, real important reminders. It's safe to have that security and the smoke detectors and everything hooked up together. I was going to say, just one last comment. Yep. Yeah, please make sure, too, that you have working smoke detectors, yeah. carbon monoxide detectors, Make sure you test them at least once a month and make sure that uh, they are in every one, a part of your main living area as well as in all the bedrooms. Very good Thank info. you so much.